Now what I want before we understand how we can update the user using the update form, let me show you how we can open the update form using this button. As you know, when you click on this add employee, it's going to open a new add employee form. But what I want, when I click on this update button, I want to open my update form. So let's see how to do it. We have to pass it back to the form. And here you can notice I have here a flag with the value true. I'm going to just change this value. If I specify here false, when I click on the add employee, it's going to open the update form. But instead of changing this value of this flag, every time when I want to update my record, I can get this value from the Redux store. So what I'm going to do is when I click on this update button, I'm going to pass the ID of the record to the Redux store. And when we have that ID, I'm going to open the update form. As you all know, when you click on this edit button, we are going to call this on update handler function. And this is going to dispatch an action toggle change action. And this toggle change action is going to change the value of this toggle form. If I open the console and reload it, when I click on this edit button, you can see it's going to return true and false values. I'm going to specify this toggle form value to the add employee button. So when I click on this button, I can toggle the form like this. So let me just back to the index.js and right down here you can notice I'm using here the handler function and you can see we specify here a value false and I specify this handler function to the add employee button. Now instead of setting this value using this use state, I'm going to call use selector and get this value from the Redux store. So to get this value at the top, I need to say import use selector from React Redux as well as we need use dispatch to dispatch a new action. So just out of that, instead of this use state, here I'm going to say use selector. Inside it, I'm going to call the state like this and then call here a callback function. And to this callback function, as you know, inside this table, you can notice we just return this and toggle form. So let me copy this and specify that inside this index.js right here. So now I have this toggle value inside this visible variable. So instead of this array, I can just simply specify here visible. Just out of that, when I click on the add employee button, I want to change the value of this visible variable. So I can do that using dispatch hook. So right down here, I can say constant dispatch is equal to use dispatch. And instead of this set visible, here I'm going to say dispatch and call an action, which is this one toggle change action. So let me just import that right up here. I'm going to say import toggle change action from Redux reducer. I'm going to import this toggle change action and specify that to this dispatch function, something like this. So now using this handler function, I'm going to change the value of this visible variable. Save this file, reload the browser. And now when I click on this update button, now I can toggle my form using this update button. 